Good afternoon, everyone. I am Miss Moore, and I am the research teacher here at the STEM Academy, and therefore I, um, I teach science enrichment course. I am from the beautiful island of Jamaica, and I have done my education at, for a starter, at the University of Technology, where I pursued a associate degree in chemical technology. I then moved on to work at the University of the West Indies as a laboratory analysis. And while there, I also did my bachelor's degree in science, where I pursued a double major in environmental biology and chemistry. I then went on to um, do my master's of arts in teaching. And that was a shared program between the University of the West Indies and Reading. And I did, it, um, did, did science for the higher level. I am so happy to be here in Georgia, presently teaching at the STEM Academy, and this has been a very great experience for me, just sharing with the students and the, fa the faculty here. In Jamaica, my core responsibility was as a scientific educational officer at the University of the West Indies, where my responsibility was to design and develop scientific experiments and activities for the undergraduate students in life sciences department and as well as for the science curriculum for the Ministry of Education in Jamaica. Here at the STEM, I am also doing research and that involves a lot of inquiry-based experiments and activities for our students. So here at the STEM, um, each semester we have a different focus. In semester one, we focus on exposing the students to the scientific research process. So here the students are allowed to carry out an investigation on their own. So they will see a problem and try to solve that problem. Uh, we help them go through the process of identifying their variables, designing the experiment so that they can collect the data to be analyzed and then solve the problem. Um, in semester two, we focus on the grand challenges of engineering. And as you can imagine, STEAM really comes alive in the research classroom. And so for grade seven, our focus area is advanced in health informatics, and therefore the students will do design and come up with a problem-based project, and they get opportunities to work with um, experts from the public area, as well as all the teachers in the building act as resource person for the students as they work in their groups. I am a culturally responsive teacher, and so I use the culturally responsive pedagogy to teach. And therefore, I'm aware of all the ethnic groups and cultural differences in my classroom. And I use the students' live experiences and prior knowledge to help them to design the experiments and projects that they work on. As I, because I believe that student voices are very important and that they should be recognized. Um, I believe this strategy is very good because it ensures that students are authentic in their work. They can analyze their own work and they can help with their assessment process. And therefore, everyone gets a fair chance for passing the research course. I love the elderly, and therefore I volunteer and work in some of their homes where I take them for nature walks and play games with them. I love the outdoors, so anything outdoor, that's me. You can find me some more, and I'm ready to go. Thank you for sharing with us, and thank you for listening.